One of the stranger situations with the power deal today. How are you guys dealing with that? Yeah. Um, so we found out yesterday uh, about the uh, uh, about the situation with the power being out. So uh, we were able to make some plans to still get our a workout in out on the on Maxwell and then come in here and get our practice. So everything was fine for us and uh, really not an issue at all. You kind of have to go back to some of the like old school ways of keeping track of the periods and everything. Or? Yeah, I mean it's, it's really not not a big deal. We got clocks, and it's a minor inconvenience compared to uh, uh, what other people are dealing with. So we're fine. Anything you couldn't do? No. Nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. But like, the locker room looks a little different now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, other than where we're getting dressed, but it, there's no. There's no, uh, you know, risk for anybody. We got our trainers uh, did a great job getting set up, and our equipment guys did a great job uh, helping us, you know, transition some things to the, to the uh, tunnel. So it's no issue. Is there anything that happened during the bye week, or does it matter? We're fine. I mean, you know, there's people that have got a lot worse off than we do. So uh, we're fine. Not a problem. With this being a developmental week, how the guys kind of respond really to good. some of the rest? Yeah, really good. So we got a group, as I mentioned before, that's really focusing on their bodies and they're doing, uh, you know, rehabilitation, some workouts, some stretching uh, to get, you know, kind of recharged, so to speak, the guys that are taking a lot of reps and games. And then we have some guys that are, a bunch of guys that are getting developmental work and it's been real positive. We're focusing on technique, fundamentals, and our own schemes. So they've done a really nice job. and. Uh, I think the guys have taken it seriously, and the mentality has been really good. Is there anyone in that? I know it's been three days, but is there anyone in that developmental group um, that stood out? Yeah, I mean, I think you see flashes from some of the guys that have played. You know, Brett Johnson still getting a lot of reps. For example, Braxton Croto. You know, Makai Polk on offense, and um, then you see some of the guys who haven't played. Uh, you know, O line. You know, Ben Coleman's playing O line some now. And he's he's showing up and. Uh, you know, Colin Moore doing some, all those tight ends, you know, mm -hmm. doing some good things. Spencer getting reps at quarterback. So you, there's a bunch of guys that you're noticing, which is a good thing. Halfway through the season, how would you assess the offense? Well, it's, you know, we were, uh, we've done some good things in spurts in different parts of the offense, running the ball, especially early on, you know, first few couple games there, did some really good things running the ball. Um, and then I thought as we got to that Ole Miss week where we started to really connect in the passing game and some of that, you know, what uh, some of the teams were playing us for a little bit more of that run. And so the passing game really started to take off, I thought, and protection and guys making plays down the field. Now it's about putting the whole thing together. Uh, we, we need more consistency there. We've had some some lineup changes and that's the way it goes in college football, but we got to you know, we got to strive for that consistency and performance, run game, pass game, protection, contested catches, which I think, we're, like I mentioned before, we're seeing more and more of that, which is encouraging. But uh, ultimately, we got to move the ball down the field and put points on the board. And I think the guys are working extremely hard, but we're, we're not there yet. Did you say the offense is better than last year? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, we're, we need to get better. That's, that's where I think we're at. And, um, I think the guys are competing hard. And I think, uh, you know, there's some, again, new faces in there that are that are getting some valuable reps, but uh, you know, I don't, comparing last year and that this year really doesn't do us any good. We need to get better, and they know it, we know it, and as long as they continue to come out here and practice really hard, that's all we can ask for. Same thing with the defense. How would you assess the defense so far halfway through? Uh, I thought, um, yeah, again, we've had some good moments. Um, I think you're always looking for that consistency. You know, I think we could, you know, Getting negative plays is really important for us. There's a couple stretches in there where we didn't do that as well. Um, same thing with taking the ball away, which is always an emphasis for us. And we kind of went through some spells in there where we didn't take the ball away like uh, we have in the past. Um, and I think we've, you know, like this last week, we were able to take it away a lot better. And we still got to shore up some things in the run game and um, really want those guys competing down the field in the pass game, which I thought we did, took a step forward last week. But uh, ultimately, it's, it takes, Every phase of the game, it takes offense, defense, and special teams. And you know, I, the thing I like about our team is, you know, nobody's feels like they have it because we don't. You know, we're we're a work in progress, and we will always be that way. And as long as they continue to come out here and give us all they got in practice, if we can see, see that growth in games, that's what's important. Um, and 
we're pushing them on that every week, and they push themselves that way, and, and I appreciate that. How would you assess some of those uh, special teams units, particularly the coverage and some of the punt games? Yeah, the punt team uh, hasn't been um, as strong as we had hoped, and it's coverage, it's punt, it's it's all those things involved. I think we have the ability to, to be better there, and we need to be better there. Um, you know, the kick return game, punt return game, I think we've had some moments where we've had some good explosive returns. Um, not the consistency we, we want, but I think overall our coverage units, especially in our punt game, we have to be more productive. Yeah, and that takes everybody. It takes the punter, the snapper, the cover guys, the gunners, and, and it takes guys making plays down the field. Is that something to do with Coots unavailability at some point? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, that plays into it. I mean, that, that's the truth. So uh, I think, you know, getting Steven back going and, and getting him where he's feeling good and healthy and Dario continue to develop and then we got to make some plays down the field in the coverage. That's good. All right. Thank you, Thanks.